It's going to be about uh, changing your fuel filter. Um, I got this one actually at AutoZone, uh, Adolfi, I believe it's, it's made by. Uh, this one was very expensive. It was $282 uh, for the fuel filter. Uh, I think the original ones are Bosch or Pierberg, I believe it is, uh, but can't find those. And everyone that I ordered, the people are counseling on eBay and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of getting in my nerves. So it's kind of like, okay, let's go down to the parts store and get one that's uh, very similar and it's extremely expensive. So once you want to replace this, I'm going to have to replace it with a uh, fuel filter. Here's the uh, man filter. I think it's an original kind of parts because um, it has, you know, the box has the, the car on it. Um, so here's one of these. So you just get a Mercedes Benz one. Uh, this one was about $39 uh, for the filter. And you're actually supposed to change these uh, every 60,000 miles or five years. Um, whichever one comes first with the Mercedes service. So um, this is not like a big service change um, item uh, to do. But if you're changing the filter, I'm sorry, not, if you're changing the pump, then you have to do the filter combo together. So to get those off, I've seen some people online that were doing um, filter changes and stuff like that. But just letting the fuel kind of run all over the place and get into buckets and splash everywhere um if you go down to harbor Fer freight or any kind of parts store this i think was the best because it's only seven dollars harbor freight um the clamps give you different sizes for the hoses to work with and you'll see the different ones because you're going to need a bigger one because there's one hose that's kind of large on it but um these are the pretty much the things that's going to work the best in a pair of clamps so uh let's go ahead and get into this video and then just before you get started, make sure to go over to the other side, release any pressure that may build up in the tank. So you had that out of the way. All right, hopefully you guys can see, sorry if you can't. So when we go up underneath here, it's gonna be on the driver's side of the car. Uh, if you can see this pan right here, will cover, it's a plastic cover. Mine is pretty beat up already. But if you can see, we have this here. Um, and then you're gonna have some kind of uh, screws right here and right there. I'm not sure how good you can see. I'm trying to push the camera in there. And then you're gonna have one more that's almost kind of like behind the tire, but then it's like right up here to, um, to, to take off, okay? So that's pretty much all you're gonna have to do to get that plastic cover uh, completely off. And uh, these are 10 millimeters. Uh, it's kind of Mercedes-Benz favorite uh, size. So you just kind of push it in there and take them out one by one. So it's just three of them. I'm just taking the number one, two, and then the one that's all the way back here. All right, so I'll see you when I get oh, that. Done. Never mind, my bad. I forgot, there's one more right here that you gotta get off also um, to take off. All right, let me see something here. Put it down. You guys probably can't see that, but. So it's the fourth one here. That you gotta take off. So remember four. Uh, Last one comes off just like that. So now you have your uh, fuel filter out. Definitely going to start out with removing the uh, Phillips head screw right here. These are just a brace uh, bracket that holds everything on. Go ahead and take that off. Some could be in the middle, but mine's is right here at the tip. And okay, so take that off. Let that just go. Okay, you got that screw. Then that should loosen the things up. Um, I'm not sure. Is there another one there? 
Oh, there's the other one that's on this side that you have to take off also. Um, sorry guys, trying to... All right, and then that's holding that clip on uh, for the fuel filter. So you just take those off and let me go ahead and do that and I'll come back. All right, so once you get those unhooked, you can just gently bend these um, brackets out a little bit. I think they're supposed to be bent out. Mine's is kind of rusted, so be extra careful not to break it too hard um, or break it off, I should say. This fuel line's coming from um, direct from the tank. Then it comes, pushes out, and then around into the filter hoses. So um, let's go first. Once you got that all, you know, take the plug out of here. It's pretty easy. One, two, pull, you're done. All right, hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. You have the clip, uh, clamp, I'm sorry, that kind of goes around the, uh, sorry, I really can't see myself, around the hose, give a little space, and then it will clamp down onto that, um, tighten it up. Uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand and film. <laughs> So that's pretty much what you're looking to do uh, to clamp off the hose and give yourself like a little bit of room um, when you're doing that. And uh, yeah, let's keep watching. And you're just gonna pinch off, I think these are called pinchers, I believe. But make sure you have a nice uh, space in between there and then you can pinch off the hose because you're gonna need a little bit of room to get that off pull it off a little bit more okay so i'll tighten that up a little bit more and we'll all right so you have your clamps uh on the lines it has so many lines i don't have enough clamps to fit it so i'm gonna have to do kind of one at a time you see i got one one here for the filter one here for the main line and the one up here that's going to the filter just didn't want too much to come back but all right next so once you start on one one or the other one I'm talking about the filter or the uh, the pump or the filter. You're going to have to take off your clips. Now these clips are, I don't have the tool for these. I mean, there's so much different tools and stuff you need. I just took my little uh, punch and you see where it's like right here. They're going to kind of clip and hook on to those little spots right here. So I just kind of took something in the middle and pried it off gently. And then when you put it back on, you're just gonna have to take a pair of pliers and then squeeze them, you know, right back over and onto the uh, the line. So that's pretty much what you're gonna do next. And of course, I gotta get something to kind of catch the little bit of fuel that may come out, like a little teeny bit from the pump. And then um, we'll take the clip off on the back part and take this off. Okay, so with that, you're gonna have to push and tug, push and tug a little bit to make sure you get the hose off and there is fuel waiting there so good thing i got the clamps on um and then it's cut off there so here's your uh pump all right now with this one you can just kind of twist and pull uh you don't have to do it really hard or anything like that it'll just come out make sure you have a little bit of uh something to catch the fuel that will come out but those clamps are on there pretty good because my tank is at a half a tank so these things are working uh phenomenally all right, so that's one that's done. Okay, actually, just to kind of recap, I'm sorry, it was a mistake of mine. I don't have enough of the pinchers to do all the lines. So I think you're gonna need about five of them or, or so to do all the lines. So all the lines that you see here need to be pinched off because fuel will come pouring out of those. And then the line that's right here pours out, I guess from, from the front of the engine, like gushes out a lot. So I had to quickly uh, put the filter on. Make sure you leave the little caps on the front until you have everything on um, here uh, if you don't have another pinch to use. So I would say definitely get five of them. This is a learning process for me. I've never done anything like this before. So YouTube is a magic and I'm trying to share that with everybody. So here's my mistakes. Um, got a little bit of fuel all over the place because that line needs to be punched, uh, clipped off too. So, um, okay. Now the next thing I'm gonna have to do is take the clamps and pull uh, this line off because it goes to this one, which is pretty simple. You see nothing's really flowing out of that one uh, too badly, but we should be okay, I think, to do the next one and uh, I'll come back. 
Okay, I'm not sure how much you guys can really see, but with that, if you have the right clamps, you can push it on there with throwing your clamps on there. But for the most part, you're gonna have to put something stable right here and then pull it together um, to make the clamps kind of go on tightly. Clamp back on, let me see if I can do this here. Oops. A little bit more up. <sighs> All right, after 49 minutes, I was able to get these clips to go back in here. Um, all I can really say is make sure you, if you're putting new hoses on, you can clamp them on there new. But if you have old hoses, make sure you put them like where the kinks already were for the clamps. These ones are a little bit difficult if you don't have that little clamp that makes them easier. So I spent 45 minutes trying to put those back on where they belong. So after that's all done, go ahead and put the filter back in its right place. All right, so that's where it goes. Um, then we can adjust that to set up in there appropriately. All right. All right, so up next, you're gonna go ahead and put your uh, hoses back on for each of the lines um, that go into the fuel pump. Okay, uh, where's my clip at? Wait a minute, I'm gonna put my clip back on there. This one was giving me a, a lot of trouble. I wish I could go buy another one, but uh, yeah, good luck with trying to find these somewhere right now. All right. Okay, this is being difficult, of course. All right, so you're just gonna put your hoses back on with the fuel pump. Can't do anything with uh, one hand, so yeah. So I finally got all the clips on. Man, these things are gonna give you hell, uh, especially with the older ones. All of these clips here. This one's the smaller one, a little bit larger in the back. This one right here is a really big clip. That one was like hell. So we're pretty much all done. Just gotta put um, put this back on here the right way. That's on there. Then we have the uh, two screws, if you remember, that need to go uh, up inside here. But after that, um, let's just go ahead and put this back on. Okay, that just clips in. All right, let me get those screws. All right, so, sorry, I'm kind of upside down doing this. You can put those back in. Uh, all right, so this is what you should pretty much have um, when it looks like when it's all done. Double check, make sure your vent um, hose is on there tight. That doesn't have a clamp. Make sure your clamps are on there. Double check everything here. That was taken off. Double check that one. Um, yeah, everything's on there tight. And now you can just go ahead and stick on your underbody uh, cover, which is pretty simple. I showed you a little bit earlier. Um, close to it so just kind of work that a little bit to get it on.